Welcome to the CQC video tutorial series. This is video number two, basic installation. Now that we have run the installer, it is asking us if we are really doing a new installation or not. You might be updating an existing installation that you had to move to another machine or something of that nature. So it gives you an option to find an existing one. In this case, it is new. So we're just going to hit the new button and that will bring up the installer. And this first panel here is just asking us for some very basic information. Um, CQC is a network product and there is a master server that has to be there all the time. If you're doing a single machine installation, which is what we're doing here, then you have to make this one the master. So we're going to select the master single machine option here. And we are going to want to control devices from this machine. So we're going to check this option. This just allows the installer to set some options for us, which we can further tweak, but this will, for our purposes, set everything correctly. So let's hit next. And now these are all of the options and it will indicate, are we installing them? Are we not installing them? And if some are already installed, if this were an upgrade, it would indicate that those were being upgraded if they were already installed. And you notice here that it's not installing a couple of legacy options. If you select one, you'll get some more information down here. So hit next. And these are the terms. Obviously, if you're going to end up buying, read through these, they're straightforward. And this is the startup mode. Since there are uh, two parts to CQC, some that run in the background, some that run in the foreground, you need to set the startup mode for those background options. If you're just going to put this on a laptop and play around with it, then you can probably just leave it at manual and then you'll have to start and stop those background services yourself. But for a real system, you would want to use this option here. For my purposes, I'm going to leave it manual because this is a development machine and I need to start and stop various systems. So let's hit next again. And these are some uh, speech options. So if, if you're going to do uh, text to speech or you want to use um, voice control via our own CQC voice program, then you would need to install these. Otherwise, just skip them. If you select one and hit install, it will take you to the correct um, page on the Microsoft website to install those. And this is where you want to install it. In most cases, this would be the appropriate place. In my case, because this is for demo purposes and I have multiples of these, I'm going to put it somewhere specific. And it's telling us it doesn't exist and we do want to create this path. And now we're just going to step through the options, which I won't dwell on very much. I'll just quickly mention what's going on. This is the client side GUI programs. And this is something we don't need to worry about. In fact, you could for now turn it off. Uh, this is indicating we are installing the master server here. If we were installing another system pointing to an existing CQC installation, we would say, select this option. And here we would indicate where it is at. And these are port options for the background services. You would seldom ever want to change these. We do want to install device support because we want to control devices from here. The XML gateway and advanced option, just accept it. The event system, we will definitely be getting into this um, in the tutorial, so want that installed. The logic server we will get into later in the tutorial, so install that. The web server is automatically installed on the master server because it's used to serve up help. So that will automatically be selected and you can't deselect it. We could also set up secure connections here, but that's an advanced topic, which we'll leave for later. The tray monitor is something that will allow you to do various things amongst them. You can start and stop the services and it provides application control and it also provides a kind of a gateway to iTunes if you have it installed. Only select this option if you really have iTunes on this machine. For my purposes, since again, I'm using this as a a tutorial system. I don't want this to start automatically when I log in because I'd have to continuously stop it. So I'm going to turn this off. You would probably keep that. And this is the CQC voice options. Actually, for now, let's just turn that off. We'll come back to that in some, some more advanced um, topic videos, and that will prevent us from having to set that up now. All right, so that's our options that we've all set. You probably didn't really understand any of that, but that's okay. Just uh, go ahead and hit next and accept those, and it's going to do the installation, which typically goes fairly quickly. It's a little longer than it used to be because we have moved the help 
from being online to being shipped with the product, and there's quite a lot of it, so that has uh, made the installation go a little bit slower than it used to. And that's likely what it's doing at this point, is copying those help files over. Now it's installing the background services. And the start menu links. And now we need to set a password for the initial administrative account. CQC is a secure system and you as the administrator will control it and you will need to create other accounts for other users to use. But in order to do all of this, there has to be an initial account that you can log in as. And as it indicates up here, it is called admin with a capital A and we are setting a password for that. Remember this because if you lose it, you're going to have to basically remove CQC and reinstall it. So I'm just going to set it to testing. It doesn't really matter for my purposes here, but obviously pick something more robust for your own needs and then hit set password and it indicates that went correctly. So we now have an administrative password that we can log into. So hit next and it says that everything went well. When we close the installer, it's going to load up your default browser with the release notes. And I'll just close that for now. You may have noticed that the version was not correct there because this is still beta code and they haven't been updated yet. So now CQC is installed and the background services are chugging away back there behind the scenes doing what they do. And we can prove that by going to the file browse or whatever they call this thing, the browser. And um, you can select manage and that will bring up the computer management screen. And then you can expand out services and applications and select services. If you go down a little bit, you'll see there are two entries here. And the application shell only runs if there are if there's a need for any background uh, applications. And in a pure client type of installation, this one may not be there. The client service is always there. If you pull this out a little bit, you can see that um, they are both running. And you can see the startup type. Remember, in my case, I selected this one to be manual mode. Something you may want to do at this point is to change the login account for the application shell. As security has tightened up over the years, some things just cannot be done in the regular login that um, services are set up for. And if we scroll out a little bit more, you can see that I have changed mine here to just use my own account for testing purposes. The local system type of, um, or local server or local system type accounts, they are more and more limited these days and some things won't work. If you want to do that, just um, right click and hit properties, go to the logon and then enter that information here. It will initially be set to local system account. Just select this option and then enter the account name and the password. And probably you should go ahead and do that because if there's anything to do with accessing remote uh, files such as media files and things like that, that cannot be done unless you make this change. So that's it, we are now ready to start configuring CQC and let's move forward.